In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how to replace the little bit of shrubbery here at the front of this demo model with a privet hedge using just this sponge. Stick with me and I'll show you how I did it. So the first thing we're going to do is rip out all the old scenic material from the existing shrubs. I'm just going to speed this up because it took uh, quite a long time to do. This was a model I made about four years ago. Now the next thing we do is just quickly separate the top part from the pan scour, just making sure we get all the yellow sponge off. And then with the yellow sponge, we'll just rip that into smaller pieces and drop them into this cheap coffee grinder that I got from Amazon. Just give it a good old shred. Now you can repeat this process many, many times, but I just did it the once here on the video. Now I'm mixing some green acrylic paint in with it, just to colour up the sponge. This is quite chunky at the moment now. Give it another grind in the coffee grinder. We can do this as long as you want. And now I'll just add some lighter green to just lighten off the green colour. Give it another grind there. This is doing dual purpose, it both mixes it and grinds it down. Now after a wait for it all to dry, we can take the contents of that, mix it all back up again and just gently sieve it out. All we want to do is create both a chunky mix and a softer, finer mix. So here we're just sieving after having ground it several times, obviously waiting for it to dry. And now we've got some chunky foliage powder that we can use to create our big bush with. These smaller bits we'll put into a different tub. So now here we'll get the pan scourer top there and we're just going to paint it with some brown acrylic paint. I put a piece of glass down onto my cutting mat here to protect the surface. I didn't put it straight onto the mat. So just paint roughly all over the scouring top with brown paint and just speed this uh, this bit of footage up just so it uh, passes quicker but in no time at all you can paint both sides and then we'll cut it into several strips. We want two wide strips and two narrow strips. You'll see why in a little while. Now I'm going to glue them together, the wider strip underneath and the narrow strip on top. This is because we want to match it up to the front of the fence, the wall that we've got there. So there you can see it roughly looks like shrubbery under my, or the, the under bracken under branches. And now we're going to glue the rougher foliage to these smaller painted scouring pieces. So we'll just thickly put on some super glue. It needs to be foam safe super glue. And let's just squidge on some of that green foam. Get it on all over. So we're just bulking the shape of it up and creating the underlying foliage. And we do that both sides and with both pieces. I'm being quite slapdash here and you do end up with a little bit of super glue all over your fingers. If you don't want to do it so quickly you can use PVA and leave it to set overnight. But as you can see that, uh, that bulks up quite quickly. Now very quickly we get two of them. What we're going to do is give it a blast of hairspray which acts as a foliage glue. Again you could use watered down PVA if you didn't want to be so quick. So it's just a cheap hairspray from the pound shop and of course even though it's hairspray you could do with ventilation, ventilation, <laughs> face protection. So with face protection on we'll just give it a blast of hairspray. As I said it acts like a, a cheap fixing glue. Give it a generous coating all over just make sure you, you properly saturate that. Again, I say you could use watered down PVA and leave it to set overnight. But again, we're just going to sprinkle this finer foliage. This is some that I've lightened down even further. So it's given a highlight coat. So this is the, the finer sieved stuff from the foam. Making sure it's a slightly lighter colour than the underlying foliage. And we get quite a realistic looking bush there. So once they've dried overnight and set, you can squash them a bit further into place. It is quite solid to the touch there. It does help if you give it another coat of hairspray or fixing varnish afterwards just to further solidify it. Well, we've got a couple of nice little hedges there. Now I'm going to bring in the, the house that we want to add it to. So it wants to go on that wall there and that's where you'll need the piece that's slightly thicker on one side and it is on the other. You can just see there it's slightly bushier here. So now we just want to trim this to size and we can use a piece of, uh, not a piece, 
<laughs> we can use a pair of scissors because it's only foam so we'll just trim those off I will do that in a minute obviously because I'm jumping ahead of myself here just need to measure it up against the wall there and yes <laughs> use a pair of scissors and we can just chop off the bit of excess there and then with some super glue again foam safe super glue so it doesn't make the underlying foam smoke we can just stick that right up against the wall there in place as you can see i've already cut a smaller piece of hedge out for that little corner there i'm just propping it up with my finger for now but we'll do the same there and we'll stick that down which just with some super glue that'll hold it in place quite nicely it's quite rough at the moment here it resembles more of a an unkempt looking hedge if you uh, wanted a neater trimmed hedge you could obviously use a pair of scissors and trim it so it matches up neatens up now with that extra piece of uh, hedge that we made there I'm just going to fill in the back wall here and it's uh, it just happens to fit very nicely in that section there I'll just have to push out some of the existing shrubbery I'm not going to rip it out all together I'm just going to nudge it out of the way one of them's actually fallen out there but uh, we'll tidy that up afterwards and just checking it fits yeah that's a pretty good fit right there again whoops there goes the cap <laughs> we're just going to get some super glue now and uh, again this is medium viscosity the thick the thicker myth the viscosity might be might be actually better for this but medium viscosity super glue and that will just stick in place right there and with that we're done with our quick hedge maintenance as you can see yeah i'm just pushing the shrubs back in but there we go so you can see your bird there is just checking out the, the foliage like I said, this, is, this resembles a, a more unkempt looking hedge, but uh, it does give a very good effect. And certainly a, a massive upgrade on what it looked like before. And that's the view from the back. And again, the view from the back with the custom made hedge. This was a demo model, like I say, that I made quite some time ago. So thank you for very much for watching today and uh, if you want to like, subscribe and comment I would be most grateful and I'll see you all again soon.